to a piece of wire length of 240 cm is bent to make a shape as shown in the diagram on the right as press y in term of x so what can we relate so this one we can see that the side is either in term of y or x and we know that the total is 240 cm so if we add everything it's supposed to be 240 cm so i want to start from t here so this one 13 x plus 13x plus this one is y and this one is y I can just add y plus y or just 2y directly plus 24x is equal to 240 so this one 13 plus 13 26 plus 24 26 plus 24 you get 50 right 50x plus 2y is equal to 240 so we can divide everything with 2 25x plus y is so this one is 120 so here y is equal to we'll bring x to the other side 120 minus 25 x so this one is y in term of x so y is equal to 120 minus 25 x be sure that the area enclosed by the wire is this one so we have a this one is a pentagon right be sure that the area of the enclosed wire is this one so you see here you can divide this one into this one so we can have we can have the rectangle so this one the rectangle one this one is 24x and this one is y cm and we have this one triangle where this one is equal to this one this one is 24x and this one is 13x so using Pythagoras theorem we can find the height of h so how to find h so we have this one where this one is 24x divided by 2 is 12x and this one is 13x so height is equal to 13x square minus 12x square so 13 square we have we get 169 x square minus 144 x square so here we get 25 x square which is equal to 25 is 5 x square is third x square is x so here we have 5 x so this one area is equal to 24 x times y and this one you see here triangle is half time the base is 24 x and then the height here is 5x so here we get 24xy so half and 24 can be cut off so 12 times 5 we get 60 60x square so we can see that this one is in term of x right so y is missing so we can substitute the y that we found before so y is equal to 120 minus 25x so here a is equal to 24x y is 120 minus 25x so plus 60x square which is equal to so 180 20 24x times 120 we get 2880x so 24 times 25 you get 600 so 24x times negative 25x we get negative 600x square plus 60x square so we see here we can combine our x square and x square so this one is 2880x so negative 600 plus 60 we get negative 540x square so we can see that this one is the same with this one so show that we can see that this one is shown all right see find the value of x and y for a to be maximum so here for a to be maximum so this one a is equal to so you see here in term of x right so which means that da over dx is equal to 0 but then we can also check you see here the value is maximum so it's supposed to be that d square a over dx square so maximum so the value is smaller than 0 we can check okay so here 
it is equal to 2880x minus 540x square. Right, so dA over dx is equal to, so when you differentiate 2 x at 0 times x, you get 2880. So when you differentiate this one, so 2 times 540, you get, so 2 times negative 540, you get negative 1080x. And then 2 minus 1 is 1, you don't really need to write power of 1. Okay, so you get this one. So, if you want to check if it is really maximum or not, I mean, if you don't show it, it's okay because it, it, it wanted to find the value of x and y, not if it is maximum or minimum, but then I just want to show you. So, we know that if it is maximum, d square a over dx square is smaller than 0. So, you know that dA over dx is this one, right? So, d square a over dx square is equal to... So, when you differentiate 2880, you get 0. When you differentiate this one, you get negative 1080. You see, this one is smaller than 0. When it is smaller than 0, automatic it is maximum. You will get maximum value when you find dA over dx. So, you see here, when dA over dx is equal to 0, 2880 minus 1080x. So, 1080x is equal to 2880. So, x is equal to 2880 divided by 1080. So, here you will get... Eight over three. So you see here when your x is equal to eight over three, so your y here up here, y is equal to hundred twenty minus twenty five eight over three. So here you are going to get one hundred sixty over three, or you can press your calculator. Which is also equal to 53, 1 over 3. So this one, x is equal to 8 over 3. Or you can... Y is equal to 53, 1 over 3. This one can also change to mixed number, which is 2, 1 over 3, also same. Okay. Second, the maximum area enclosed by the wire. So, we know that we can get the maximum area when x is equal to x over 3. So, here our area is equal to 2880x minus 540x square. So, when x is equal to 8 over 3, a is equal to 2880 times 8 over 3 minus 540 times 8 over 3 square so here we will get 7680 minus 3840 so here we get 3840 so the maximum area enclosed by the wire is 3840 we know that this one is in cm cm square